was going through the experience and watching my son, I thought I was the only one finding it that hard and that stressful. And it always bothered me as I was going through the experience that I had no resource. There was nothing I could go to. I would find books about how to make a good crock pot meal at practice or how to clean equipment in the dishwasher or something like that. But I would never find a book about what do you do when you want to throw something at the coach. <laughs> and off, it's an awful thing to say, but I know that parents feel that way sometimes. As I was writing it, my hope was that it would be helpful to other hockey parents because it was something I wished I would have had at the time. If I could go back and do all these things differently, I would have. So in realizing I couldn't, I thought, okay, well, the best way to deal with that is to write something to help other people. Her name is Allison Tufts, and the name of the book is Behind the Glass, and boy, is this a great book for all parents of hockey. I don't think of hockey, uh, baseball, and, and all, all sports, it's a great book. And I, I kind of got choked up when I read it, because I know I'm into this. This is, the, this is the best advice of all, and here's what she says. I realized I wasn't his teammate or his friend or his coach. I was his mom. One thing for sure, it was no matter the outcome, I was going to love him and support him no matter what. That's the best advice you can give. The best thing for me is when somebody comes up to me and, and says, oh my God, I can't believe you put that in the book, but I did it too. There's nothing better. I really like that. Ne not necessarily did I think I needed to read it, <laughs> but when I was reading it, I realized that I was very much in that same position. I remember a couple of, of uh, times where I've actually put it in my purse and took it with me to the arena. So um, just to refer to, <laughs> it's been arenas where I know that I'm stressed before I go. So it's just a good little, oh yeah, earmark the page, <laughs> go read it, get it in my head again. The dream for the book would be that hockey moms get together at the start of the season and they do a book club. They pick the same night and it's a practice night, so the kids are on the ice. You go somewhere and maybe you have a bottle of wine or coffee, whatever, and you do a chapter at a time and you become friends, you become your own little team and you start to help each other. And so if one of you is struggling in the rink and you start to see, oh, that mom is having a hard time and we write about that in chapter five, maybe you go and remind them and maybe you go and have a conversation. And I think it does so many things. It's entertaining, you get to know each other, it's a night for the girls, and it also helps you be a better hockey mom and it helps you be part of a community that will be with you forever. I loved that so many of the lessons in the book really related to what I was going through and what it felt like. Um, there's so many instances or scenarios in her book that made me think, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I'm going through. That's exactly what I feel. Um, and all the lessons are truly real. Like I think every single hockey parent, um, hockey mom, goalie mom, we all feel those things. I think one of the other reasons that I wanted to do all of this is hockey parents get a bad rap. We get a bad rap. And you know, they'll, they'll talk about the crazy hockey mom or the crazy hockey dad. And I think, there is so much training for coaches, so much training for coaches. You have to be certified, you have to, and referees, same thing. They have to go for a certification, they have to do all these things. Our players go to dry land, they learn all, everything about the game and, and how to conduct themselves as young men and young women. And then they say to the parents, it's gonna cost you this much money, be in the rank and behave. And you're watching your child go through all this and there's no resources for them. I went to the seminar and I saw a series of speakers and uh, Allison was, was one of them. I knew nothing about the book at all. And then she started to speak and speak about her experience as a hockey mom and how it led to the writing of this book out of the diaries and whatnot, part of her presentation. And I thought, there's a lot of parents that need to read this book. There's a lot of parents that need to understand this message. I don't see that every parent where their kids are going to school, that the goal is I want them to get to Harvard. And if they don't, I'm gonna hire a tutor and I'm gonna have them be at a tutor three times a week. I'm gonna have them have extra help on Saturdays and Sundays. And if they don't get there, I'm gonna give them trouble and say, well, you just didn't try hard enough. But we do that with hockey because we wanna see them get to the NHL or get this far and get this far. And, and if you look at it, we don't do that when it comes to anything else, right? 
So the video series is great to go along with the book. So what it does, every chapter in the book, every lesson, we have done a video and we've interviewed coaches, players, parents. Um, we have some NHL players that are involved in it. And we asked really honest questions about how parental interference can affect the game and how, can it, how it can affect your young player. And we got some great interviews and they're just a really good resource as you're going through the season. If you want to just think, oh, I'm, I'm struggling right now with this. Okay, I'm going to go to lesson eight and you can click on and watch them. And, and they're about five to 10 minutes long, but they're well worth the watch. Hockey parents are passionate and they don't always get it right. And I hope that the book helps them to get it right.